Hi guys, I'm Isa, and today we're going to be learning how to make. We're going to be learning how to make Windows application using Python. So, what we want to do is make a tag which says that we want to say how to make Windows application using. My son. And what I'm going to do is work from the control. This is what we're going to be using to make it. Say so import asterisk to everything. So, first we need our window. We're going to make a new variable named WN. And we're going to set it equal to. I'm going to set it equal to TK, so it's capital letter. So it's going to be the length of. I'm also going to make a tag. So it's going to say creating the window. And if we want it, the window appears. But if we add an element to the window, it's not going to show. I'm just going to do wn.main group. And what wn.main group does is that it makes you know, the window to be constantly updating. So, let's make a tag that says constant update yeah, window so and then I'm just gonna make a new tag that says making text making the text so I'm going to say text I'm going to say equal to label that doing with capital letter. What label is it just means a piece of text. So we have to specify the window that's going to be on. It's going to be WN. And that and comma the text which is say equal to area calculator. So if we run it Doesn't show anything because we have to do that is with text dot pack. So all that pack does is that it, it just puts it onto the screen. And it shows that. We are also going to put a comma and it's going to say font. Let's add equal to it's going to be we put these two parentheses to specify the font. Then Font for Emily, so I'm just gonna say a real and that the comma and the font size. I want to say 30. If we run it, you can see that the font size is bigger. We're going to make another piece of text, which is going to be called Tech 2. So, so this text is going to say enter width and Right. And it's going to going to be real. Let's see, fifth. Let's see, seventeen. Now I have these. Now we just make the text box. We going to make a new tag which says making the text boxes. And make a text box. I'm just gonna write. I'm going to call it width. So it's like equal to after I write entry with this for the text box. So I'm going to say WN so it will be in the window. And then comma. So I'm not going to take that. So I'm going to do words dot pack to put on the screen. Now there's this text box. So I'm going to say border 
words look at the equal to can just say like five so so I want to copy this word and rename it height with the height stop pack two. I don't have this. Oh, so, I'm also going to make a bit more text, a bit more text boxes. So I'm going to copy the code for this text, and then I'm going to paste it for the words. I'm going to name it words text. And I'm going to remove this font in so that will be the original font size. And text is going to say words. I'm going to copy this in a bit height text and text is going to be height well because this was supposed to be width text dot pack but this one was supposed to be height text dot Mm, so there are those pieces of text. I want to make a button. So I want to say calculate button. I want to make a button. I have to add the name of the variable. So I want to name it calc. I want to have it equal to button. And it was capital auto. W1 is going to be in the window. And this text is going to be calculate. We have this. You also have to do calc dot path to put it onto the screen. I have this calculate button. So I'm going to give it some padding. So I'm going to say pad x, which means padding x. I'm going to set it to 10. So if we run it, okay. A bit more padding on this is just to search I'm going to give it a font inside it equal to uh, real and I'm going to give the font size of 20. But the calculate button is bigger. I'm going to give it a background so BG. I'm going to do this hashtag and then I'm just going to write in the color I want to use. So yeah, write it in any color you want. So now the button looks like that. So I'm going to I'm going to make a function by using the def keyword. So the name of the function is going to be called calculate. So in function. I'm going to say W, look at the variable in W, and set it to words dot get. So we use dot get if you want to get what's inside of an input. I'm going to H equals to height dot get. So then I'm going to say, I'm going to say result equals to report. I'm going to be at the W word and I'll have a text and the text is going to be the string value so I'll use the str keyword it's going to be the string of W times H or the words times the height and I'm also going to do the font equals to to just to give it a font size of 15 of 17 and then result dot pack and I will go back to this calc button I'm going to put a comma I would to say 
command. So what happens? Press the button. No, it does not really equal to calculate. Usually, when you're writing a function, put these two parentheses. But when you when you're doing command for a button in this integer, we don't put these parentheses. Now, if I run it, I might enter the width. If I say like 50, if I enter the height, I'm going to say like 78. But the calculate button. I'm going to say this. So, so W and H are going to be strings. And so, I want to do int, the integer value of W, which means the number of value w times int h and is the value of h the height so if i said that was uh, like 57 the height is like 85 86 so i'm calculate it's going to say 4902 you know if we go calculate if i enter a different number like i'll calculate again it's going to you know, it's going to wait a new one So uh, I'm just going to copy this font thing and add it to the width and height text. I add it to the width and height. I need to do a command font to so the font that I copied. But so it's to the width. Now if I run it, the height has become bigger. So, so, you know, that's the, the finished product, but uh, this one though is kind of small, there are two ways that we can make it bigger. The first way is that we could just, you know, change the window size like this. And, uh, we have to press the maximize button to make it full screen. And the second way is, Go back to the window and write wm dot geometry. I would just set the screen size, so it has to be a string. I would just have to like 800 x 800, so it means 800 by 800. No, that is going to be as big as that. I'm gonna just do 800 x 500. And the source is going to be like that. So, anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, then leave like and subscribe. So, bye.